Good day and welcome to another exciting episode of Conqueror Electrical Limited. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, no power in your home or the fuse is on or the breaker's on and you're still getting no power. Um, first tip is check to make sure that you have no reset buttons around the home. A lot of homes have uh, what we call a GFCI or a ground fault circuit interrupter and a lot of times uh, we find that that will be tripped somewhere that you don't even realize. So, you know, you know if you have no power in your bathroom, um, the power could be running through the GF, GFI and then up to the lights or the fan or uh, it, in most cases it is. The second biggest issue is these fuses, the old plug style fuses that you screw in. I'll grab one here. These little guys. They look like they're not blown, but I can tell you they're blown. Unless you stick a meter on them and actually do an ohm test, a lot of times we'll get calls from customers saying the breaker, you know, all the fuses are good or the breaker's on. There's still no power and we'll go and it's a simple fuse. Another thing, I'm going to leave the screen for a second, just a second. The breakers. They don't always show when they're tripped. So it might be spongy or in the halfway position. Other than on or off. What you have to do is do a hard reset off and then a hard reset back on. A lot of times that's what it is. It's just simple things. This can save you a lot of money before you go ahead and call an electrician. If you want to see more, pop over to our website, like, subscribe to the video. Um, you can see us over on conquerallelectrical.ca, and I'll put a link at the bottom here that you can click on, go right to the webpage. Uh, anyway, have a good day. Thanks.